Hi, everybody. Happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with Jaspie's four box win a spot in Transcendent Baseball Mixer number three. It's a random team break. Yeah, like the title says, you can win a spot in Transcendent. At the very end of the break, we're going to re randomize everybody's names. The name on top will win a spot in Transcendent, which is a $460 value. Pretty good stuff. There are the boxes involved here. It's a pretty good break, too, actually. It's a good break and, and a chance to win Transcendent. I'll take that every day. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into it. Appreciate it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a six, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and finally, 11th and final time. We got Thomas down to Anthony. All right. It's five and a six, 11 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 the final time. Good luck. After 11 times, we've got the Chicago Cubs on top and the Red Legs on the bottom. All right, so Thomas with the Cubbies, Todd with the Pirates, Bill with the Rockies, Logan with the Blue Jays, Brian with the Mets, Logan with the Rangers, Charles with the White Sox, Jeff with the Red Sox, Sean, last ball, Mojo, Angels, Brian with the Indians, Dane with the Brew Crew, Eric with the Twins, Logan with the A's, Dennis with the O's, Aaron with the Giants, Sean with the Phillies, Bill with the Rays, Chris with the Tigers, Logan with the Cardinals, Brandon with the Nats, Aaron with the Padres, Peter with the Yankees, Jose with the Royals, Jerry with the Diamondbacks, Chris with the Braves, Charles with the M's, Darren with the Marlins, Aaron, you got my Dodgers, Bill with the Astros, and Anthony with the Cincinnati Reds. So let's roll it, or let's alphabetize it by team right here. And feel free to trade, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to pause the video really quick to allow for some trades, and then we'll get the break started. Welcome back, everybody. There were a little bit of trade chatter, but no trades. So that list right there remains the same. There's one right here. Thanks, everybody, for getting into this. And I'm sure, uh, I think we might, do we, we might have enough boxes to post another one. So look out for another one and look out for another chance to win a transcendent baseball spot which would be pretty transcendent. You can still buy spots straight up. Actually, there were a couple people yesterday who bought spots in Transcendent Baseball straight up. And that, if you buy a spot straight up, you'll be eligible for uh, to win an extra spot in that Transcendent break. Two for one. You could, you could get two for the price of one only if you buy spots straight up on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Go to our baseball section. It should be there. Is also a good promo, I think. That's a good deal, too. All right, so here's 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball. Have they announced the MVPs yet? Yeah, I'm wearing my Dodgers hat here because uh, I'm hoping that Cody Bellinger edges out Christian. I'm assuming the voting will be close. I'm hoping that Cody Bellinger will edge out Christian Yelich for the MVP. Looks like Brave signed Giants reliever Will Smith to a three-year deal. I was kind of hoping the Dodgers would do that. They, they need to shore up that bullpen. Hmm. We'll see what the Dodgers do in the offseason. Looks like Mets GM Brody Van Wagen is saying Syndergaard no longer for sale. So they're holding on to him, apparently. All right, box one. Good luck. 
Look at this. Paul's asking, how do I feel about the 2017 World Series now? Well, I feel pretty good about it. Knowing that the, uh, that the Astros had to cheat their way to a victory. I'll take the high road on it. Luis Robert. White Sox. Charles. But I can't get too gloaty about it, Paul, because... Who knows? Who knows what the Dodgers are doing? I bet, I'll bet every team, if you really dig deep, I'll bet every team has skeletons in their closet. So I can't get too, can't gloat too much about it. But they're the ones that got caught. They're cheaters. I think that's pretty obvious. And questionable uh, hiring practices in their front office. Remember that executive, that assistant GM who got fired? After that locker room incident, you know, they didn't seem too bothered by Ulysses Gurriel's sort of uh, actions towards you Darvish in the World Series back in 2017. So that's the kind of organization that they are, apparently. That's their club culture. Blue Jays, Logan with the Bluebirds. You get Jordan Groshans. There's Jared Kalanick. He's actually a pretty big prospect. He went to the... Well, this will go to the Mets. This will be for Brian. But he's actually a big prospect for the Mets that went to the Mariners in that Cano deal, I believe. That Robinson Cano deal. And we've got a, we've got a crew... Um, we've got a lot of people in Milwaukee. A lot of Jaspi fans in Milwaukee. And he's from the Milwaukee area. And they're all about him. They're really excited about him. So that's one to keep an eye out. Track his progress. Track Verdugo's progress next year. There's his rookie card. Luis Severino. There's Kalanick again. And we got Christian Pash, who is also a big prospect for the Braves. 18 out of 100. Chris, what's going on? How are you? Christian Pash for the Braves. Chris Rendon with the Bravos. I don't know when he's going to be called up. So I guess he's single. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll see him in see him in regular spring training action. Possible dark horse candidate for the opening day roster. Maybe a cup of coffee at some point. All right, let's do 2019 Donner's Optic Baseball. Two autographs in this box. Possible opportunity for a hot box. This is from a fresh case, after all. Then we'll do tribute, and then we'll end with uh, that SIG series, and we'll do a quick round of Who Am I? See if you can guess who that retired player is going to be for bragging rights. Uh, who does everyone have for the AL and NL MVP? It sounds like... Trout should win, right? But it sounds like maybe some baseball writers who were voting may think uh, Trout was injured, you know, and then and Bregman was, played the entire season, so that, that might have some value. Cheater. Cheater, though. I think they voted before all this came out, though. <laughs> yeah, to put up the numbers that he did and still miss, like, yeah, Bregman needed like 20 more games to put up Trout numbers, which is kind of crazy to think about. On the NL side, obviously, I'm, I'm rooting for Cody Bellinger, but I, I understand that that race is pretty close. Bellinger has a little more speed, I think. He steals a little more bases, I want to say. Defensively is better, but I don't know how much of an edge that gives, uh, gives Cody Bellinger in the eyes of the riders. Chris Lombardo says Trout and Yelich. Logan thinks the same, Trout and Yelich. I... I Trout's war is just just too much, which is. But I don't know if they strictly go by that. So I feel like baseball writers are still still kind of old fashioned in the way that, you know, you're, you have writers voting for this, you know. So which is still which is kind of interesting. All right, so here's 2019. There's David Bodie, Pink Velocity to 199. 
Got Nick Senzel, rated rookie. Silver, we might see more of him in action. And there's your autograph, Kyle Tucker. That's kind of an early autograph. Is this an autograph hotbox? That's for Bill and the Strohs. Leave that out there. There's Kristen Stewart to 125 for the Tigers. I think he had a decent season last year. There's Trout. We're just talking about him. Pretty incredible. Yohan Mankata to 99. Is this a parallel hot box? Maybe. Trevor Story looks like it. Trevor Story to 199. And there's Framber Valdez, another Astros autograph for Bill. Forty-seven out of seventy-five on that one. There's Jack Flaherty to ninety-nine. Another parallel. There's Yimer Candelario to ninety-nine. Jackie Bradley Jr. to sixty. This does look like an, a parallel hot box, but the autos popped early too. That's interesting. J.D. Martinez to one fifty. Miles Straw. Orange to 99 for the Strohs. We got Freddie Freeman to 60. Bogarts to 76. That's the We the People. Very patriotic parallel there. I like that. Another We the People, Kyle Freeland to 76. Get it? 76. Starling Marte to 99. Jose Urania to 199. John Lester for the Cubs to 75. Mitch Hanniger to 150 for the M's. Caleb Ferguson to 199. Pink Velocity. Nice Vlad Guerrero Jr. here as well. Those parallels will play. Miguel Sano to 125. Michael Perez for the Rays to 150. Luis Urias for the Padres to 99. And Eugenio Suarez at the end. All right, so nice, nice parallel hot box popping. All right, now on to some tribute. Tribute. Yes, Darren Porter, we will play a quick round of Who Am I with that archive. We got some time for that. For bragging rights, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We got Edgar Martinez. Autograph, nice. 71 out of 99, Edgar Martinez for Charles and the Mariners. That is strong. Francisco Lindor. Carlos Correa reveals a Didi Gregorius. Triple Relic. 70 out of 99. That is for the Yankees. That'll be for Peter. Got Eddie Rosario. Nice. Look at that. One out of 50. Great patch with the MLB.com slash authentication uh, sticker right there. Silver ink autograph. He had a great season. Had him on my fantasy team last year. He's pretty happy with his production. A little injuries here and there, but still played well. And that is for Eric Wolverton and the Twins. We 
We got, is that a red down there? Let's see what that's all about. We got a dual relic for the, uh, yeah, both Diamondbacks. Paul Goldschmidt, Diamondbacks edition. AJ Pollock, Diamondbacks edition. 68 out of 150, both not on the team anymore. Jerry with the Snakes. And the Rizzo, red, out of 10. Two out of 10 for uh, Thomas R. and the Cubbies. And David Ortiz, I thought it was gonna be an autograph. Relic though, stamp of approval, authentic right there too. So if you look up those letters and numbers, you can see exactly where that jer what day that jersey was pulled, like what game that was from. And you can look up his box score and be like, hey, that is what, this is what Big Poppy did that day. So Red Sox, that's for Jeff Norland with that one. Oh, no worries, Charles, yeah. You don't see a lot of Edgar Martinez autographs. And the last one is Jeff Bagwell. Nice tribute. This is a great tribute box. Tribute to Enshrinement, Jeff Bagwell. 21 out of 90. Houston Astros, Bill with the Strohs. Nice. Bellinger just named NL MVP. Oh, I see it on MLB.com right now. Nice. Go, Cody. Go, Dodgers. Nice bag, Will. All right, put your thinking caps on, ladies and gentlemen. A little quick round of who am I. Remember, this is a retired player edition, so keep that in mind. Uh, mom's crying. All right. Okay. Who am I? Remember, retired players. Retired pitcher. Played for like 21 seasons. Started with the Mariners. Then went to the Rangers. Then went to my Dodgers. Then went to the A's. Then the Rangers for a season. Then the A's for a season. The Yankees for a season. A couple more seasons with the Cardinals. And then, uh, and then he retired in 1997. 109 wins in his career, 143 losses, a 372 ERA, 1,038 strikeouts. But had a good stretch in like the late 80s, early 90s, I want to say, maybe in the 80s. Had a real good, uh, real good stretch. He's a two-time All-Star, a World Series champion in '89. That should kind of give it away. An ALERA leader in 1983 with the Rangers. I think he's mostly going to be known as a coach, pitching coach. He was a pitching coach for a long time, just recently retired as a pitching coach, and is now in the front office. Who am I? He was a Dodgers pitching coach. And he recently, I think he had like back surgery recently. So I think uh, he didn't want, can't, couldn't really travel as often. So I think now he's like a special assistant to the front office or something like that. I think that's what he's doing now. Lefty. Yep, Obi-Wan, you got it. Rick Honeycutt. And this is Mariner's edition of Rick Honeycutt. Look how young he looks there. This is, and that is 23 out of 39. So there's his auto right there, nice. And there you go, that is for Charles and the Mariners. All right, now, that was a good round of who am I. Now, let's see who's going to win that transcendent spot. All right, so with Jerry down to Brandon, Everyone has a shot at that transcendent spot. Name on top gets it. Just one winner. Name on top after two and a three, five times. One, two, 
three, four, and five. After five times, congrats to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, boom, Bill. Congrats to Bill. You have just won a $460 transcendent spot, a random hit break that drops at the end of the month on jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can pre-order your spot straight up, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to try to win an extra spot there as well. So thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. Congrats to Bill. We'll see everybody next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.